John McKinnon Sr. I'm substituting, yay! How are you guys? For those of you about positive thoughts and prayers out for, for Mac, he's, he's a tiger, my, my, grand, my grandpuppy's in the, has had a little emergency today, so I'm filling in for Mac. So for those who do, a little prayer for Mac and Tiger, so everything comes out well, we'll he'll be back at doing his normal thing. But Mac had to take him in. So who we got first eyes on? First eyes, first eyes, I can't see. Hello? Oh, I can't tell who that is yet. Well, thank you, welcome. It's Core and Restore with Coach John today. It is Monday, the 13th of July. Dun, dun, dun. So today you're gonna need, uh, if you can, if you have them, some, some egg, um, weights, some light weights, some heavy weights, a little bit of our body where we'll be doing core work. Anita, what's up, Anita, what's happening? Justin, how are you, Jay? All right, just want to give you guys a chance to grab your gear. You'll need a mat, maybe a chair, something to help the balance. Remember, it is core and restore. We're going to work on all of those muscle groups that help eliminate undesired actions, to help you with mobility and stability, range of motion without unnecessary movement, trying to minimize the risk of injuries. That's what the core and restore class is all about. Strengthen up your posture muscles, the muscles that help keep you safe from any and all harm. All right, right now we got that one eyes on on right now. We'll see who stays and who lasts. But it is Monday. I'm here at the club looking for more eyes on. Right now it is officially 12 o'clock. All right, we'll give it a few minutes, see if anybody else pops on. Who's out there? Justin, Justin. All right, positive thoughts from Mac and the Tiger. We're at the vets right now, hoping things could get clear. Tiger had a, I didn't even know. Tiger had a fever, so hopefully he'll feel better and everything go well. So keep eyes up, eyes on, prayers, keep them in your heart and your mind. Again, grab some dumbbells today. Grab your mat, grab a chair, so we work the core. We're gonna get some warm up going here in about the next two minutes. And water bottle and towel help wipe the sweat. Alright, are we ready? Let's get it going. We got two eyes. Ready? Go. So right, sit, left, tilt it over. Remember, we're just trying to increase mobility right now. Roll the head all the way around from ear to ear, head straight up, and now reverse the roll. Perfect, now shoulder shrugs. Give me four of these. Now roll forward. Now reverse the roll. Elbows lift side, hey Deanna, what's up Deanna? Hands up, push front. Woohoo! All right, push up, push up. Excellent, elbows in slow. Four, three, two. Rotate palms down, four. Three, two, last one. Now you want to pulse it back. Pulse. This engages your upper back. Stretch out your chest. Four, three, and now just hold the stretch with the chest. And you're stretching up those posture muscles in the back. Four, three, two, and now hands in front. Now rotate, center, rotate. This is for the core work. Come on, for the abs. Give me four more slow. Right, center, left, center, right, center, left, faster, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now side to side slow, right, now remember this is for the core, abs and lower back, just warming up the mobility in that lower back and abs, come on, in four, slow and steady, three, come on, two, perfect, one, faster, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, cover, 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 over and up, over again, lower back and out, warm up, pull your belly button in as you go over, four more slow, four, three, two, one, and faster, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and again, twist it again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, come right, left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now get twisted, one more. Eight, seven, third time to charm, warm up that lower back and abs. All right, side to side, go, right, center, perfect, you got it. Four, three, two, and now cover right, left cover. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all right, balance on that left leg and you're gonna swing the right. Two, three, now if you're feeling a little wobbly like I'm doing, grab hold of a chair and just swing. Abs stay in tight, four, three, hold that legs forward, now swing across the body. Eight, seven, six, five for sobriety, four, three, two, all right, change leg swing for the back, one, two, steady, steady, three, four, the legs are the only thing moving, five, six, perfect, seven, hold it front, now cross the body, eight, seven, Six, five, four, perfect. Three, two. All right, last one. Change leg and now extensions. One is the leg extension. Two from the mobility. Three, four more, four more, four, three. I love it. Two. All right, lean forward, leg curls. One, two, three. Four, five, six, get that hamstring engaged. Seven, squeeze those glutes. Eight, now circles. One, two, for the ab and adductor. Three, four, reverse the circle. One, two, three. All right, change leg extensions. One, two, three. Give me four more, four more. Four, three, two, lean forward, leg curls, eight, seven, steady, six, I'm talking to myself, five, go unsteady, four, three, hup, hup, two, and all the way up, now circles, one, two, three, four more, four, reverse it, three, Two, and one. Face front squat slow. Down, two, three, four, and up. Now, focus on your technique. Knees and toes are angled out to the front corners of the room. Push it to the heels. Come on, Deanna, you got this. Give me four more, that's slow. And your objective is try to keep your shoulders over your hips as much as possible. So it's just as much as possible. Bring it up. What we don't want is this. This is a no, a negative. This is not a squat. Bring it up. That's more of a deadlift. So try to keep your chest lifted, point to the wall in front of you as you do these. Perfect. See, there we go. Two down, two up. Down, two, up, one. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, three. Down, two. Up now, Esther. Eight, seven, six, come on. Five for the stabilizers. Four, three, two, last one. Perfect. All right, now if you have it, grab your chair, grab your chair. We're going to do a little standing leg work. A little standing leg work. Hold it close. We're going to balance on your left leg. Use the right. Four, three, now lift the leg forward. One, so it looks like this. Two, the leg is straight. Three, now remember the real work is on the standing leg. You wanna squeeze that glute so it stays, hip stays in. Now to the back, go like this. Eight, seven, six, it's the standing leg. Five, that's really doing the work. Four, you wanna stabilize it. Three, slightly bend the knee. Two, just slightly. All right, now look to the back corner. One, two, Perfect. Three. Four more. Four more here. Four. Three. I love it. 
two. All right, change legs to the front. Four, the front. Two, three, work at a standing leg. Four, that's where the work is. Five, six, seven, eight to the back wall. One, straight back. Two, squeeze those glutes. Three, four, like you're holding on the money. Five, between the cheeks. Tia, you got it, come on. Perfect, perfect, are you ready? To the side corner, up. Four, two, three. Four more, four more. Four, three, yes. Two, and one. All right, you're gonna switch legs. Now on this one, what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a quarter squat, standing quarter squat. You're gonna work that left leg, you're gonna take the right leg, you're gonna cross behind. Two down, two up like this. Two, up, one. Your job is not to use the chair other than just keeping you stable. If you can do it without the chair, perfect. Down, two, up, again, again. Two, up, two, down, two. Now wide to the side. Out, two, work that standing leg. Out, two, up, give me four more. Three more. Two more. Woo! One more, one more, one more, one more. All right, now straight back faster. One, remember one leg is squat. Two, one leg is squat. Three, it's just a quarter squat. Five, six, seven, eight, come on, four more. Four, three, two, one, all right, shake loose, you're gonna switch legs. Now you balance it on the right leg, cross back on the left. Two down, two up. Down, two, up, one. Down, two, up, two. Down, two, up, three. Down, two, up, give me four more. Two, up, give me one more, one more. We're gonna do the same thing. Out to the side, two up, two up. Out, two, up, two, out. Two, now four more. Three more. Two more. One more, one more, one more, one more. All right, straight back singles. Four, two, three, four, one, five, six, seven, Hey, give me four more, four more. Four, three, two, last one. All right, shake it loose, shake it loose. All right, now we're gonna do a little upper body work and use some stabilizer for lower body. Grab your heavy bells first. Or you can use water bottles or whatever you have for weight. Grab them right now. We're gonna balance on the left leg. We're gonna do triceps over the head. Ready, go. Two, three, balance, four, five, six, seven, eight, for six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, you're gonna change legs. Ready, bicep curls. Perfect, shoulders down and back, keep your shoulders over the hips. Squeeze those glutes. Come on, you got it, you got it. Give me six more. Five, four, three, two, last one, perfect. All right, now grab your little bells, your smaller bells. Remember, the work is in that standing leg. We're gonna do a little shoulder work. Hold that same thing, remember. Stabilize. Four, three, two, and go. One, two. Squeeze those shoulder blades together as you do these. Keep the shoulders pressed down on the floor. It's all about stabilizing the upper body. Come on, abs are in. Give me six more. Six, five, four, three, Two, 
One, now you're going to lean forward so it looks like this. Lean forward, hands are up. One arm at a time. Two, three, four, stable, five, abs are in. Six, just a little lean. Seven, eight, give me six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, change legs. Four, three, hands in front. Bring it down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me six more, six more, six. Don't swing them. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lean forward. Airplane, airplane. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six more, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, change legs, hands are up. Ready, go. Right, up, left, one, right, up, left, two, right, up, left, three, right, up, change legs, go, 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 right, up, left, one, right, up, left, two, right, up, left, three, right, up, left, and four, now you're going to go down, fly, release, up, down, fly, release, up, down, fly, release. This is for shoulder rubber back. Let's go. Eight more, eight more for Dana, for Deanna. Seven. And six. And five. Come on, give me four more, four more. What? Three more. Two more. One more, one more, one more, one more. Perfect. All right, now, grab hold of his chair. Grab that chair. We're going to do a little plank work. We're going to work a little plank in, a little core work. We're going to work it in with a little glue work. So you can be on the floor with your hands on the floor or your hands on the chair. You get to choose. But remember, engage your abs. So it's going to look like this. My chest is over the chair. My hands are under the shoulders. And you're here, go. Push the sole of the foot to the ceiling so you're working your abs and glutes. Come on, give me those reps. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Change sides. One, you got it. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Give me two more. Thirteen. Perfect. All right, turn it around. Let's get a little triceps in there. We're dipping. We're dipping. Ready? Go. Perfect. Bend those elbows at 90 degrees. Come on. Take the body straight down. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. All the way up. Perfect. All right. We're going to go back to that core work. Now grab one of your big bells. One of your big bells. All right. Keep your feet about hip and shoulder width apart. Your toes are turned open. We're going to work the right side. Put your dumbbell on your left side. Left hand. Right hand up. We're going to go down two, up two. Ready? Go. Two, up one. Now blow the air out and breathe in on your way in. Pull your belly button in. Push it out. Good. So pull in, blow out here. Breathe in up. Down. Two, up two. You feel the work right here. Work your range of motion. Only you know what's good for you. Come on, use that core. 
over, two, give me four more slow, four more, three more, two more, come on, it's core to restore, let's restore that core, perfect, now faster, six, five, come on, get it, four, what, three, ar, 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 ar. two, one, all right, switch sides, four, three, Two, two down, two up, over, two, up, one, over, two, up, two, over, two, up, three, over, two, up, give me four more, four more, I like eight, let's go eight, seven, oh yeah, remember, blow the air out as you go over, breathe it up, don't let your hips move, keep your hips still, now four more, Ar, ar, ar. Three more. Two more. One more, one more, one more. Are you ready? Single counts here. One, two, three, four, one, five. I love it. Six. All right, now. Right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to get a little rotation in there. Hello, Brenda. I know, I know, you always expect to see the young John McKinnon. You got the old John McKinnon. Mac is at home with the tiger. Didn't feel well today. And, you know, Dad, it's stay home. Ready? Here. One, like this. Keep your back heel lifted. It's not about how fast, it's about doing them well. It's about getting your shoulder going from midline and turn the other one to the other midline. The hand goes up above the shoulder, down to the hip. You got the right left, left foot is back, the right foot is forward. Blow out on the way up, breathe in down. Blow out up, breathe in down. Oh, Brenda, come on. For six more. Five, take your time. Four, big move, big move. Three, two, one. Now short and fast like this, short and fast, short and fast. Come on, short and fast. Woohoo! Come on, come on, like a shake and a protein drink. Come on, come on. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, release, switch sides. Oh, baby. Now remember, your right foot's forward, your left foot's back. Your feet are still shoulder-width apart. Hold that dumbbell at the end to whatever weight you have. Nice and slow. High over the shoulders, rotate. Turn the shoulders, turn the shoulders. Woohoo! I know, I know somebody's like, what? John McKinnon? I thought he was taller, lighter, and younger. Oh no, that's, that, that's my better upgrade for version. That's John 2.0. You got the original OG. Come on. You know, just trying to be a good granddad, stand in for the, for the son's baby, baby boy is not feeling well. So for those of you, give prayers and shouts out for poor Tiger, not feeling well. And so you know how it is a parent. When the baby don't feel well, you can't focus on anything. So here I am. Yahoo! So let's level it up, people. Take advantage of the day. This is your moment. You can sit around and say, oh, oh, I was waiting to see him. Or you're going to step up and just move forward and give it the best activity you can. Come on, attitude. You get to choose your attitude every moment of every day. Whatever life brings you, you can choose that positive attitude. Let's go four more slow. Throw over that show three more, three more. Give me two for the core, for the core. One more slow. All right, now you're faster, you're faster. Come on, come on, come on. Woo Got a giant protein shake, and you're trying to get all the good stuff out of it. You, baby, you, baby. Come on, come on. Turn those shoulders, turn those shoulders. I love that. Ow! You got four. Three, two, one, perfect. All right, now come center. Your little center stance. We're gonna do what we call a kettlebell swing. Now the purpose on this is to get your glutes involved. You wanna here release and then squeeze them down. Your job is to tuck your tail between the legs and push your hips forward. It's for the glutes. Come on, come on, you got this. Come on, come on, come on. Maintaining your shoulders above your hips as much as possible. It's the hips that go back and forward. Back and forward. 
Come on, team. Party on. Happy, beautiful Monday. And a special shout out to each and every one of you that made time to be here with me. Especially if you saw all this in that map and you stayed anyway. God bless you and thank you. May the rest of your day be as blessed as you made my afternoon, my morning. Come on. Four more, four more, four more. Three more, three more. Two more, two more. One more, one more, one more. Perfect. All right, nicely done. Now, with the right foot forward, left foot back. Hold the right leg up, the right arm up. That's not right leg. Now, just give me a lunge. And just go down as far as you can. And just use this to stabilize. Hold the hand high and wide. Just a quarter squat, quarter squat. What we're focusing on is maintaining the chest lifted and the elbows out. Come on, your paws will be facing forward. Give me a couple more. Nice, one more. All right, switch sides, same thing. For the stabilizers, go. This is one of those people when you have to do all that cleaning around the house, you have to reach up. Just make sure the shoulder's stabilizing. So try to keep the shoulders down and back. This is space between your ear and shoulder. The elbow slightly bent. Come on, try to keep it over the shoulder as you do that lunge. Perfect. Woo Give me a couple more. One more, one more. Nice, now change legs. This time we're gonna do squat position. Are you ready? Keep the shoulder, the dumbbell over the shoulder. Go, so down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down. Come on, you got this, Brenda. Oh. Come on, come on, you got it. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Feel that shoulder stabilizer. Perfect. All right, change arms, go. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Give me four more, four more. Three more. Two more. One more, one more, one more. Perfect, and releasing. Now, you're gonna balance on your left leg. Lift your right leg up, you're gonna go one arm rows. So lean forward, pull those abs in. Are we ready? Pull that hand up. One, two, hello Kelly. Squeeze those glutes, hold that balance. Come on, come on. A little extra challenge here, try to work it. You can do this with a free hand or with a bell and weight or a water bottle. Just try to hold that position with that back by arching that back. So it looks like this. Don't let it round. All right, switch sides. Are you ready? Remember, arch that back and pull. Just enough so that back leg is off the floor and there's a straight line from the leg to the hip to the shoulder on the same side. Steady yourself, steady yourself. Arr, 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 arr. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Two, three, four. One more, one more. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go back to look like core work. Who's out there? Ah, what's up, Mad Skills? Woohoo! Brenda's out there, good to see you guys. All right, now we're gonna go back to that plank. Plank, but this time I challenge you. Grab a dumbbell or a weight, you're gonna put it behind your knee to do the set, all right? You could be on the floor or on the chair, whatever works for you, but it's gonna look like this. Four, three, two, and go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hold it up with the pause. And the knees. All right. Switch legs. Go! 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five. Hold the leg up to the right. Now lift left. One, two, three. Got the big bell. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me six more, six more. Six, five, four. Dun, dun, dun. Three, two, one. All right, switch sides. Come on, where's that lean? Where's that lean? And lift. One, two, three, four, you got this. Five, six, seven, eight, give me six more, six more, six, five, I'm all over the place. Four, three, looking for sobriety. Two, and one, perfect. All right, my team, now grab your mat. If you need to, get a drink of water, wipe it, you got a drink if you need it. Are we ready? We're going to the mat first. I'm going to bring you down. Let me change your view. There you go. We're a little closer. All right. Grab that dumbbell again. We're going to do the glutes one more time. You know, I'm all about being a pain in your butt. You're welcome. All right. So we're here. Check it behind. Four, three, three more pulls up. Down one, up, higher, higher, down two. Up, higher, higher, down three. Up, higher, higher, and four more. Up, higher, higher, and three more. Up, higher, higher, and two more. Up, higher, higher, and one more, one more. Now single, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, pulse it up for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Switch. Woo Are we ready? Other side. Three, one, pulse up. Down one, up, higher, higher, down two. Up, higher, higher, down three. Up, higher. Higher and four more. Up, higher, higher and three more. Up, higher, higher and two more. One more, one more, one more. Now singles, eight, seven, six, five. Do it, do it, do it. Four, three, two, booty power. Pulse it up. And release, perfect. All right, sit back for a minute, get a little stretch of those hips. So sit back, tilt to one side. You know I'm all about a booty that makes impressions, not takes impressions. Come on, twist the other way, hold. You know the kind of booty that when you sit on lawn furniture, you get up, you get the pattern of the lawn furniture in your butt, that takes an impression. Making impressions when you get off a metal chair and you gotta fluff it up. That's making an impression. All right, we're gonna go abs. Are you ready? Up the body. One, two, three. Remember, blow the air out as you lift up. Come on, this is the core part. Ow! Give me six more. What, all right, for the challenge, people. Others, push those on the feet up. Six, 
Six more, six more, Brenda. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, dumbbells down. Hands up to the side, legs to the right. Right, two, three, four, and up. Six, legs to the left, left. Two, keep your shoulder blades down, and up. Do it again to the right, slow. This is for the lower back and abs. Keep your shoulder blades flat on the floor. As soon as your shoulder blades lift, you've gone too far. Bring it up, up. Do it again, do it again to the right. Right, two, three, four, and up. Six, seven, to your left. Left, two, three, four, and up. Six, to your right. Right, two, three, four, and up. Six, to your left. Left, two, three, four, and up. Come on, one more time right, last time right. Two, three, four, and up. Six, last time left. Left, two, three, four, and up. Now listen, knees to the forearms, sit up. Six more, and I need seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, all right, now, oh, Brenda, let's go side planks. Dumbbell option. Remember, the goal is to be able to make a straight line from your knee through your hips to your shoulders. If you can or want, you can put your legs straight or you can bend them. I've chosen to bend them but I'm adding a weight. You choose your resistance. And go, one, two, take your body straight, three, then lift up, four, you're working the lower abs, five, right here, lower abs, six, contract it, seven, pull your abs in, eight, blow the air out as you lift, eight more, seven, come on, six, a little passion, five, like you mean it, four, like you're committed, three, you want change, two, and hold it up. Come on, don't go through it half-heartedly. I need a whole heart into this. Four, three, two, and release. Switch sides. Yay! Four, three, two, and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six more. Six, what? Five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Perfect. All right, let's do that whole sequence all over again. Same sequence. Legs are in the air, dumbbell in hand. Sit up. One, two, three. Try to keep the dumbbell or whatever weight you have over your eye line and go straight up to the ceiling. Come on, come on. For eight, two, three, four. I love it, I love it. Are we working? Arr, arr, arr. Make those shoulder blades. Perfect, perfect. Come on, give me four more. Three, two, and one. All right, dump down between the feet. Option, hands down to the side. So the feet to the ceiling. 14 push. Two, three, for the lower abs. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Head down, six more. Six, five, four. I'm feeling it. Three, one, two, last one. All right, dumbbell down. Keep the shoulder blades flat. To the right. Two, three, up slow. To your left, to your left. Up slow, ho. To your right. Up slow. To your left. Up slow, oh Beverly, Jamie, are you out there? Over slow. Come on, for the core, for the core. Come on, come on. The core to 
glutes, abs, lower back, hip flexors, hip extenders, over, two, three, four and up, six, lateral flexion, over, two, three, four and up. All right, bring them, four more coming. Up slow. Come on, up. Up slow. Two more. Arr, 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 arr. Up slow. One more, one more, one more. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Up slow. Knees to the forearms. You can rest when you're dead. Right, down, left, three. 
Now take that reaching arm and hug it up. Take that shoulder off the shoulder to the knee, head to the outside. Feel that lower back stretch. Raise up smooth. And now you're going to lean forward. This one's for the lower back directly. So try to just relax. Let the arms pull you forward. Take deep, slow, relaxing breaths. Perfect, all the way up. And now the next important muscle group to this is you're gonna do hip flexor stretch. Hip flexor stretch. So it's gonna look like this. You can do this. So it starts looking like this, and just lean forward. If you need to, this is where it's a good time for a chair, and you can just use the chair for support. Or you can do it while you're sitting on the chair. For those of you who know, we've done that before. Your job is to try to lean back as much as possible as you push the hips forward. This is the muscle group that really gets tight if you sit too much. All that sitting shorts up that hip flexor. It makes it shorter and it could be weaker, causing much problems for your lower back. So remember, lower back first, twist side and forward, and then hip flexor. Switch sides, other side, yay! Lean forward, lean forward, push those hips forward. I'm trying to make sure I stay in the camera. This is where I need me a roadie, somebody to be doing my camera work. But I'm in the room all by myself, make believing that we're together. Trying to picture your little faces, getting on, stretching. Lean back, lean back. Oh baby, oh baby. Ow! All right, now, lower back. Now we're gonna do the glutes. So you're gonna lay back, cross one leg over, and now you can just bring here and pull down. Or you can have them over the top, whatever works for you. I personally, I like doing the stretch here. You get to choose yours. Try to keep your back as flat as possible and use your arms to pull those legs to the chest or to push your chest to the legs. This is for the glutes. Stretching out those glutes. All right, now switch sides. Other side. Perfect. Sorry, my, my alarm went off. Try to keep the back as flat as possible, then push in, or you're just laying on your back, pulling the legs in. Whatever works for you is all good. So remember, lower back, hip flexors, and the glutes. Those are your first three stretches that you're going to do. When I watch people stretch by their own, everybody goes right for the hamstring. Hamstring is the toughest one to stretch because there's so many muscle groups that interact with it to make it hard to stretch your hamstring by itself. So you gotta get everything else prepared before you go for the hamstring. So we did the lower back, the hip flexor, now the glute. Now we're gonna go inner thigh. Inner thigh, so so to speak together, they call this the butterfly. Grab one of the ankles and you're gonna lean forward, push those knees open. Now lean forward so you feel the stretch of those adductors, inner thighs, adductors. That means they pull the legs to the midline of the body. Add to the body. Adductors means to take away. To take the legs away from the midline. Adductors. Booyah! See a little educational. We try to be educational, motivational, and God willing, inspirational, if he can work through us at the time. That means we gotta put our pride aside and let his words flow through us. All right, all the way up, you got one foot forward, cross the leg over. Now we're gonna go for the outer glute, the outer thigh. Now you're gonna pull the knee into the opposite shoulder and then lean back away from the hip. You got the piriformis in there, you got the tensor fascia lot in there. So you just gotta branch how you wanna pull that knee to the chest or to the shoulder to get more of the stretch in the outer hip. So again, this area, abductors. Ab 
for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now we'll be switch sides. Woo Cross it over. I appreciate the hearts and thumbs up. God bless you. I'd be calling out more names, but I'm too far away to read the names, read the comments, but I will answer them. I take me a little while. Just getting back to work is really tough. This new normal has been amazing for us. So many things have changed. Like now, when you come to class, there are five people taking class with you. Well, actually, yeah, there is, if you include the instructor. So the instructor are five people, and we're all six feet away. And all the instructors at Issaquah Fitness and Mac will be wearing a mask when we teach class. So we're keeping our cooties to ourselves. And I tell you what, it's a challenge to keep that mask on because the breathing is challenging. But you are worth it. So feel safe and secure that our instructors and trainers will be wearing masks when you come take class or when you train. Outer hip, outer hip. And that's something that just started today. So this is my fourth class and I'm glad to be online right now because I'm not wearing a mask because there's nobody else in the room. So I'm feeling like myself. All right, release me. Now we're gonna go for the quad stretch. If you're laying down, you can just be here, pull it up, and lay all the way down. So whatever works for you, try to keep that body straight. You're bringing that heel to the butt. Make a straight line from the knee to the hip to the shoulder, all on the same side. So remember the sequence is lower back, hip flexor, right? Glutes, then we did inner thigh, outer thigh, and then the quad. That's your order to get the best stretch you can for all the major muscle groups. All right, release switch sides. Now for those of you that challenge the hip of the quad, bring your knees to the front, grab the ankle, and then just rotate it back. So those of you who have really tight quads, you can get this done. Or you can use the towel around the ankle. Remember to pull up in your core as you do this stretch. Drop that knee to the floor as much as possible so you feel the most effective stretch for the quad. Yay! It is a beautiful day out there, people. I don't know about you, but I love summertime in the Northwest. I know it's not always sunny, burning up, but it is not hell hot. And we can actually go outside and enjoy our experience during the day when other people are just burning down. I called my dad, he's in Arizona. He said it was 111 degrees. I'm like, what? I can't believe people live like that. And now release. Switch sides. We're going for the hamstring stretch. Lean forward. I remember a couple years ago, they had 122 degrees. In Arizona, it was so hot, planes couldn't take off. I, I just can't imagine living in that condition. Now remember, you have a choice. The most important part about the hamstring stretch is make sure the leg comes straight out in front of you, not out to the side, straight forward. Keep the leg straight. First two priorities, and then lean forward from the hip. All right, it's not important that you grab a toe. If you need to, grab a towel, put it around the foot, and then pull yourself down. Use the arms, but keep that leg straight. You got three major muscles in that hamstring. Semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and bicep femoris. And it's good to get a stretch by having that leg come straight out, keep the knee straight. And again, if you're out there listening, man, how hot is it today? Woo! And tell Beverly what's up. Switch legs, second hand me. So, sometimes my, my dad gets on and checks us out. See what we're doing online, me and the son. So what's up, Dad? If you're out there, I love you, man. Stay cool. And, and, and people, he even said he, he turns off the air conditioning and just uses a fan. And that just mixing up the hot air? Man, it's like living in a hair dryer. What? As you can tell, I'm a true Washingtonian. It gets 72 degrees. I'm like, oh no, I'm melting. <laughs> Remember, keep the legs straight, come straight out the body. And now releasing. Cross the legs over. All right, let's review. Lower back, twisting lateral forward, hip flexor stretch, glute stretch. You got the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the quadriceps and the hamstrings. Do that order and you're gonna see your flexibility in your legs increase a lot faster. All right, hands behind, shoulder blades together, press the chest forward. 
And remember team, go online and sign up for your five people's classes where you can get in and be in there with four other people with the instructor who is now wearing a mask for your protection because we love and we care about you and we want you to feel more comfortable coming to the group next classes. Tip the hand to the left, and the stretch on the right for the track. And by the end of the week, you should be able to see what classes are being taught and who's teaching when you go online to sign in. That's a project for this week. So if you're not seeing that by the end of the week, I'll be on it. Switch sides. And you can sign up for a class seven days in advance. Seven days in advance. There's a couple of standbys too, so just in case somebody unrolls the last minute, you can slip in. Now roll the ear from ear to ear, from chin to chest, to the other ear, head straight up. And now reverse the roll. Head is up, and again roll. Head is up, and shazam! Whoa! Ar, 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 ar. All right, God willing, Mac will be back next week. Tiger will be feeling great. And for those believers, can you say a prayer for Tiger who's not feeling well today? And that's why I'm subbing for John, for Mac. I'm sorry, I'm about to come, John. And as you can tell, I was really ready for today, looking like an old man. But I always tell him, it's easy to be fit when you're young, but can you stay fit when you get old? It's the experience that shows you fitness is really your life. So that's why I'm here, to show you that 30 years to his, my son, I'm still in the business and rocking the world. So God bless you. God willing, I'll see you guys Wednesday. Coming at you Wednesday, kickboxing. Peace. I'm out.